What's up YouTube? Chill here, back at it again. And in this video guys, Monster Infinite naman ang re-reviewin natin. Itong ano na to, bullish na bullish to, sobrang daming nag-review na rin dito. And gusto kong malaman eh, what's in it na talagang kaabang-abang para sa inyo guys. So let's go ahead and check out the website. Let's check out the white paper. See for ourselves. Ano ba yung mga pwede natin expect paglabas nitong game na to, okay? If you are new to my channel, guys, please do not forget to click that like, that subscribe, click that bell, set that to all, and, you know, that way you will always be notified about updates, announcements, anything and everything, NFTs. Check out my channel, guys, here. Uh, there's a ton of game reviews that we have already done. Maybe there would be, you know, something that would spark your interest just like this video, okay? CPD Friday Madness, 8 p.m. every Friday, guys. Chit chat, shout out sessions, game reviews, and siempre raffle promos natin. Okay? So without further ado, guys, let's get it on. Intro! Okay, guys, so this is the website or the landing page of Monster Infinite. And just like what we always do, we always put the link in the description of the video for your safety and security na din para sa mga fishing sites and everything like that. Okay, so with this, we would like to start with the website overview muna. So silipin natin yung mga yan. Most likely, yung mga ibang links dito sa taas are just links to go uh, to a specific section ng landing page. So, scroll na lang tayo. And then, let's focus on the things that matters the most. Okay? So, Monster Infinite, guys. Ano to eh? Uh, BSC. So, Binance Smart Chain ang gamit niya. Let's go ahead and check it out. See kung ano ba yung mga ano dito. Na, ano ko na din. Napasadahan ko na siya ng konti. And gusto ko nga yun. Gusto kong isama din kayo. And then, review natin tong ano na to gimmick nila. So, Runestone... Runestone? <laughs> Runestone Align. Monster Infinite is not just an ordinary card game. Monster Infinite takes a two-prong battle approach, combining a turn-based card game with a match-3 puzzle system. The gameplay was designed with the intention of creating an exciting in-game battle experience which is competitive and challenging. Assemble your team of three monsters now. Save them from the Jilaka and be rewarded with their planetary resources. So, ito, makikita natin siya. Most likely, ah, guys, ito, ang, ang nakikita-kita ko dito is magkakast ka ng card. And then, gagamitin mo tong ano, gagamitin mo tong uh, sa Jewel Jewel. So, siguro, three, three of a kind or something. Ito, ganda na ito. Lagay mo dito to. Oh, may ganun ka na, may ganun ka pa. Alright. Okay. So, Moving on, guys. Ito, uh, they have all their important socials. Okay, that will be, that actually will be very helpful for you guys. Lalo na if you do your own research. So, may Telegram, Discord, Twitter, Facebook, and yung YouTube nila. So, go ahead and check them out. Again, guys, it's always do or it's always good to do your own research para alam ninyo kung ano yung pinapasok ninyo. Okay? So, survival, monster war, and synthesis cloning. So, survival, alam na natin yan. So, battle, battle, monster war. Challenge other monsters at the dozo. So, parang yan yung PvP. Siguro nila na ano. Ayan, no? Training your monsters at the dozo unlocks their confidence which allows them to level up. So, nagle-level up din yung mga ano nila, monsters. Synthesis cloning from or form your rare and robust monster army with the most advanced cloning technology. Offer weaker monsters to the shiny god as a sacrifice in order to augment, strengthen, and build a more robust team. Ito mo, oh, maganda to. Ano. Burning mechanism din yan, guys. Ha? Yung synthesis na yan. So, that will aid in sustaining the economy para sa inflation. And as you know, yun ang nagiging problema ng mga ibang games, di ba? Parami ng parami, breed ng breed, breed ng breed. So, parami ng parami yung um, mga NFTs doon. Then, walang burning mechanism. That's the reason why yung, yung presyo, yung price ng token nila, it's not getting higher, it's even getting lower. Okay? So, kung di man, okay na sana kung sustained lang na ano eh, yung certain level lang eh. 
Pero if it's gonna go down, then it's bad for for the economy. And, syempre, yung mga investors din. Di ba? Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and check their white paper here. So, ayan. Pwede kayo mag-subscribe to their newsletter para updated din kayo. Just put your email in there. And they will send an email to you pagka ano. Pag may updates and announcements. Okay. So, white paper tayo, guys. And uh, let's not focus on yung mga, ano na, kumbaga, mga self-explanatory na. I will always put the important links anyway para you can go back and do your own research sa mga ibang gimmick na hindi natin pinag-focusan masyado. Okay? So, the problem, pay to win, conventional MMORPG problem of veterans losing the competition to richer player with less skill. This will create fast growth of disparity between the poor and the rich. So, mga malalakas. Overpopulated pets or characters, if there isn't proper balancing mechanism, overpopulation will surely happen and weaker pets value will eventually crash and no liquidity. Like what I mentioned earlier, guys, di ba? Yun nga, yung nagiging problema ng ibang games, yung walang burning mechanism, like yung fusion, kumbaga, you can evolve uh, your monster. Say, for example, you can evolve it, kumbaga, make it stronger, and then sacrifice maybe two or three of your own monsters para, di ba, para lumakas yung isa. Therefore, burning yung mga ibang mga monster and, you know, avoiding inflation. Okay? So, absence of player hierarchy, MOBA games uh, has been a huge success as it provides enjoyment to all different hierarchy of players. Players get to match with other players that are at the same range of capabilities. So, yun yung pang matchmaking or match making ranking or rating ng uh, game. Kaya, kumbaga, kung bago ka pa lang or mababa pa lang yung, yung ranking mo, hindi ka may match do sa mga sobrang gagaling na, di ba? Kasi syempre, lugi ka naman doon. Okay? So, play to earn. Competing in PvP battles to win leadership board prizes. Cloning monsta and selling them on the marketplace. Yan, breeding guys, yung cloning. Collecting and speculating on rare monsta such as Legendary and Inception. Investing in land. Ayan, guys. Kapag may naririnig talaga akong land that can be used for virtual events in the open world. Farming for the in-game currency that are needed to clone monster. This can be sold on exchanges. Okay, so let's move on. So, Monsta's vision. Make blockchain gaming a fun and inspiring reality. Enhance the technology of blockchain and gaming. Create a virtual filled with vibrant community and art. And accelerate the realization of universal basic income. Ayan yun, ayan yun. Monsta's, may Monsta's vision. Okay, so gameplay naman tayo guys. Ito, ito isa sa mga pinaka-importanting malaman natin dito yung ano eh, gimmick nila eh. Dito tayo sa ano sa synthesis. Yan. Monster classes. There will be nine classes of monster from three moon nations. Each of them have their respective class endowment and are categorized as either strength, agility, or int. Yan. Each category affects the attribute of the monster too. In addition to the class, each monster are made up of six different body parts or parts. Identified by its head, face, body, tail, arms, and legs. So, yan, oh. Pogi din ito. Astig, eh. Okay, so, Cyborg, Titan Nation. The Cyborgs constructed their own technological advanced civilization. They used to advance, or they use advanced techniques and tools to improve the efficiency of natural resources and optimize their automated systems. They are constantly exploring and understanding the law of nature. So, si Cyborg yan. Ayan, no? Parang ano eh. Yung mga sinuunang may helmet na gold ano eh. The prime is, defini or prime is the definition of strength with great health and the ability to regenerate. They are capable of empowering those around them although they seldom follow up with many attacks. Uh, primes can easily overpower others with pure strength. So, mga tank siguro yan, ano na yan, yung prime. So, ito, sunod yung Terminators. Renowned for delivering massive 
critical damage to opponents. Their ability to launch rapid and high precision attacks causes the even strongest to fall swiftly. Their contributions are very diverse with multiple attack styles and versatile moves. Then, let's see, Alchemist have a geeky and gimmicky personality. They like to work and do many things in succession, while many others can be helpful to allies. Some are able to use multitasking capabilities to dominate their enemy. Ayan, meron ding Elf, Reanation. So, balikan nila lang guys, hindi nyo to mga, ano nila, mga available na mga races. And then yung Orc. Cute nung Orc yun. <laughs> Whoa! Ahu, ahu. Grognak. Ano yung Juggernaut? Juggernaut. Parang mas... Parang gusto ko yung mga orc. Parang feeling ko malakas sila. Ewan ko ha. Sa, sa pangalan siguro. Bomo. <laughs> okay, cloning tayo guys. Monster from the Sunny Planet has no reproductive system like humankind. In order to reproduce, the genes of two monsters has to be fused in a Kritus furnace to undergo synthesis cloning with the help of Stamen Telus. Stamen Telus token. So, STT ang tawag ni Legend, guys. So, meron silang ginagamit na isa pang token para sa cloning or otherwise known as breeding. So, STT is the in-game currency of Monsta Infinite. It can be earned through battling and world gameplay. So, pwede naman pala siyang ma-earn in-game din. It is required for synthesis cloning and can be used to buy cosmetics that carry no attributes. So, pampapogi. Ibig sabihin. Synthesis cloning a monster costs STT depending on how many times the monster has been cloned. So, breeding count. Parang ganun. Cloning count. The more you breed a monster, the more expensive it becomes. And I would assume na meron lang sa limit. Kunyari siguro 10 times or 7 times or 6 times lang sa pwede i-breed. Then, hindi na po pwede. Or sobrang mahal na kasi. Sino ba naman na magbe-breed pa siguro? Un un ano nila? Unless... Super duper ganda ng genetics nung ano na yon nung nung monster na yon, di ba? Kapag worth it siya na isagad sa breeding count niya. Okay, so augmentation. Monsters have six body parts and each of them can be augmented by using other monsters as sacrificial offering to the Shani's God. So ayun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, guys. Augmentation may burning ano yan, burning mechanism. So, pwede ka mag-sacrifice to parang level up or upgrade yung body parts nung ano, nung, nung monster mo. Battling, ayan, turn-based card, uh, turn-based card battle system, alam nyo na yan. Itong isa naman, yan yung in-integrate nila guys. Tingnan natin kung ano naman yan. Inspired by Puzzle and Dragons, there are five color orbs which each of the color orb representing a class or an attribute. Cyborg, Elf, Orc, HP Recovery, and MP Recovery. The player has to drag an orb to adjacent positions, swapping with the orb already there. So long as the player does not let go of the orb, the player cannot move the orb as much as necessary within 5 seconds. Allowing them to arrange for several combos in a single turn. So, may discarded din dun sa ano, sa puzzle system. And I'm not sure kung nakapaglaro na kayo ng ganyan din sa ibang games kasi merong ganyang mechanism din yung iba which adds more thrill dun sa game itself. Hindi yung cast ka lang ng card, bahala na saan tumira. Next, open world players can own assets and purchase land Ayan, to place their assets. Assets must be crafted from materials collected throughout the world map. So, let's see. Crafting recipes. Assets will have their predefined functionality in the game for various activities. But recipes are needed to customize their looks. And then, co-building. Players can give permission to other players to cooperate and contribute assets to their land, allowing others to build together. Ang ano ko dito, ang tanong ko dito sa co-building na to guys, paano yung, ano, yung hatian? Diba? Kasi syempre, nag-invest yung co-player mo. Um, would that person get some sort of percentage? Diba? Doon sa kung kunyari, kung kikita man yung, yung in-invest nila, paano ang ano doon, hatian? Parang ganon. Okay. 
So hosting events, players are allowed to invite other players to their land and host a variety of events. The host can initiate party games and social activities in their respective land. The host can choose to give a personal reward to the winner to make the games more competitive and fun, attracting more players to their land. Popular attractions may be featured. I think, guys, meron ding ano dito, meron ding earning mechanism in terms of hosting events. Kaya, syempre, kumbaga, di ba, magpo-promote ka, mag-host ka ng mga parties, tapos magbibigay ka ng rewards. Parang kung donation lang yon, di ba? Parang ano naman, lugi ka naman. So, ibig sabihin, merong ano dyan, feeling ko lang, ha? feeling ko lang, merong something uh, may magandang twist silang nilagay dyan sa part na yan. Kumbaga, at least merong socialization part si uh, Monster Infinite na in-integrate, hindi yung puro battle-battle lang, di ba? Okay, so, ito naman tayo, Monster Population and Long-Term Sustainability. Ito magandang ano to eh. Baga, malaman ninyo. So, Monster Infinite is a platform that combines virtual gaming with the reality of the market. In the past, game assets owned by players do not represent ownership, does not carry an intrinsic value in the real world. Often, in the end, when players want to admire, commemorate the invention of the NFTs, Alam naman natin na yan, the game. Yan. Monster Infinite is a game that relies on strategy and technique with, unlimit with unlimited possibilities of expansion to bring gamers around the world a fun and rich experience. In addition, outstanding players will be awarded STT or money. So, yun yung mga tokens nila, guys. Setting a standard for friendly competition between players. Open world aspect of Monster Infinite is one of the biggest elements that will bring out the best in the virtual world. So, yan na guys yung land. Sabi ko sa inyo, pag kami naririnig talaga on land music to my ears, feeling ko big yan eh. Parang alam yun, uh, it gives more interest and feeling mo parang ang laki nung, ano, nung possibility. Kasi pag kaganyang may land, may resources. Ayan, yung mga katulad nung inaano nila na may party-party, events. Uh, one of the biggest elements will bring out the best in the virtual world. Not only does it add a vast range of interaction opportunities between players, it also fulfills the social acts aspects that extends far beyond the game. Players can connect to their audience through live streaming platforms and build their own network hosting or participating in mini games and live events. Guys, pag nilabas to, and nakasali tayo dyan, gusto ko makapag ano din, makapag host dyan sa, kung magkakaroon man tayo ng land ha, kung papala rin tayo, makabili ng land, di na natin, pwede natin i-live stream yan, di ba? So, existence of Monster Infinite will bring more people to come to understand blockchain technology. It will, it will bring increased engagement and faith into the future of all other industries. In order to ensure the balance and longevity of the game, Monster Infinite will continue to maximize the circulation of assets to allow the game's economy to sustain itself. Importante yan, guys. Okay? Sustainability. That's the reason why yung mga ibang games na lumalabas, uh, hindi tumatagal. Sa una lang magaling, and then habang tumatagal, paubos na ng paubos yung, ano, yung funds and everything. Tapos pababa na pababa yung token. That's because hindi sila, alam mo yun, wala yata sila, baka wala silang balak na maging sustainable yung game. Gusto nila isang snap, kumita, then tapos na. Diba? Parang ganun yung gimmick ng no iba. So, all revenue will be used not only to maintain the Monster Infinite ecosystem, but also allow developers to upgrade the game system with fresh content and continue to deliver exciting experiences to all players. Which is very good. Kasi again, guys, in terms of maintaining, alam mo yun yung excitement and interest ng tao sa isang game, they would have to always be evolving, adding something new, di ba? Hindi yung palaging puro ganun na lang. Puro ataka na lang, ataka na lang, everyday. Alam mo yun, ang nangyayari tuloy is, you're just thinking about the earning mechanism nung game na yun and not enjoying kung ano yung meron dun sa laro na nilalaro mo. Iba pa rin kasi nag enjoy ka while earning from from that, di ba? Okay, so guys, next tayo. Inception of Monsta. Tingnan natin yan. Ayan, so yung mga bagong ano yan. Inception of Monsta, first batch of Monsta, limited to 4,088 units with ID from 1 to 4,088. Probability to get legendary parts. Uy, baka tsamba ka niyan. Talaga nga naman. Rarest in-game. 
2,088 units will auction on a price curve from 0.2 BNB to 1 BNB. Guys, if I were you, I would do my research now, check it out, see for yourself if this is something that you would be interested in. And remember, other games na mga katulad ng ganito started from the bottom and yung mga nakasali dun, sobrang dami na nilang teams Dami na nilang scholars, dami na nilang, alam mo yun, breeding nila na ng breeding ng ganyan. And then, di ba? So, if I were you, I would study and learn from the past experiences that others had. Okay? So, kung ikaw yung taong hindi na makasampa doon sa isang game na sikat na sikat na ase dahil kaya mahal na, you know, this would be a great chance for you to start a new beginning. And, di ba? Malay mo, as the game grows, you're gonna grow from it. Grow with it pala. Sorry. You're gonna grow with it. And, um, hindi ano, uh, ito, sasabihin ko sa inyo, and this is something that I, uh, came, came up with. Games change lives. Play to earn. Right? So, yun yung ano ko dyan. Ayan, so, makita nyo. So, balikan nyo na lang din yung mga iba pang gusto ninyong makita dyan. Monster Infinite Token. Ayan, guys, so, oh, yung, uh, Simoni First come first serve Max contribution is 10 BNB Minimum is 1 BNB 1 BNB is 2,700 money So yun yung ano nila Simula nila And pre-sale 2 2, 4 So yung mga ganyan guys Dapat yan yung mga ano ninyo Yun yung mga Ginogoal ninyo Yung mga Pre-sales Kasi dyan mura pa talaga so again, if you do your research, make it make sure that you're doing your research as early as now and don't get caught in the middle, if you know what I mean. Right? Okay. So next token allocation and audits. So Certic Security Leaderboard and Rep Monster Infinite. So yun yung allocation sila, games, staking, team, marketing, private sales, EX, launchpad, reserve, advisors. Uy, colored na to. Chart nila. Technology, guys. Let's see. Network concerns. Some concerns over the long-term susten sustenance of external systems which may affect the stability of the game ecosystem. So hopefully, Monster Infinite is prepared for, you know, kasi... Once you're there, once you launch your game, especially now, sa Pilipinas, grabe guys, ang talagang gimmick ng play to earn dito sa atin. When that one game started it all, all other game makers uh, transitioned into play to earn. What can I say, di ba? It's really, it's, it's really income generating. Di ba? Hindi, hindi siya yung tipo. As long as, again guys, Pagka ganyan kasi may mga magagandang kitaan and everything, hindi mo may iwasan yung mga taong masasama yung intentions na, alam mo yun, mga online magnanakawang gimmick nila to also uh, get in there and then pagsamantalahan yung mga taong bago pa lang. So, ingat kayo doon. Okay? Account security. Ayan. So, monster server, monster wallet, login token, then anti-cheat. So, ito, tingnan natin sa bots, guys. Another concern is the development of automatic farming bots, which, in our opinion, defeats the purpose of the game and removes the fun from it. While we have massive plans to generate random and exciting battle experiences that are very difficult to automate against, it is definitely not an impossible task. So, using... The match 3 puzzle system, we plan to develop and improve a natural form of CAPTCHA algorithm which makes it harder for bots to solve, which will bring massive disadvantages to bots during battles. Okay? So yun, uh, ano pa ba mga ano natin dyan? Team. and yung mga ano guys. Si Jin Tan, ang ating CEO. HK Chong, CTO. Creative Director, si Dave. Ito si Joshua, COO. So, mga young blood. Pero, yan yung mga ano, yan yung mga mahuhusay gumawa ng games. Kasi, kumbaga, alam nila how it works. 
Okay? Partnership. Tignan natin kung sino yung mga naging ano nila dyan. May play to earn. Hyper Chain Capital. Okex. Block Dream Adventures. Sendex. DuckDAO. Oxpool. GD10 Ventures. And solid yan. Yung ano na yan. Mga... Um, mga ano yan, they help in uh, funding yung mga games na kasi pagka may ganyan guys ito nga pala sinasabi ko lagi din sa mga previous videos ko check nyo din yung mga ganyan yung mga backers ng projects kasi yung mga ganyan syempre diba, they would do extensive research about the projects na ano nila kumbaga ini-invest na nila kasi they're investing their money into it as well Kapag may ganyan, most likely, alam mo yun, safe yan na pasukin natin. Pero again, guys, don't just rely on what I said. Always, always, do yourself, do your, do yourself, do your own research pa din. Okay? So, yun yung white paper ni Monster Infinite. Let's go ahead and check back dun sa ano nila. See, let's see. Game description. and. So, uh, Monster Infinite is an MMORPG or massive multiplayer online role-playing game with a turn-based card game concept that co-joins games and gaming and cryptocurrency. And guys, syempre, alam nyo naman, pag pumasok kayo sa mga ganitong play-to-earn, ang ginagamit natin is cryptocurrency. Earnings can go up or down, up or down. So, medyo ano yan, nagbavary yan, Okay. If you are in a good game and you did your research well, may kita niyo yun yung trend is alam niyo yun sideways talaga up down up down which is normal. Pero apag kayo mga tipo mga ibang games na mga delicates, yun yung mga biglang dip and then dun na sila alam niyo alam niyo yun parang flatline na okay? So yun lang muna ang gimmick natin kay Monster Infinite as soon as magkaroon tayo ng access with beta tests or alpha test ng ano ng actual gameplay niya I will definitely create a new content with this especially mga announcements din mga updates ni Monster Infinite para alam niyo kung ano yung happenings and lalo na pagkaya ng atulan niya kung magpaplano man kayo pumasok alam niyo kung ano yung uh, current events or yung mga future events na mangyayari ba meron tayong pre-sale ulit meron tayong CD or something ng ganyan Uh, sale ng mga monsta, mga ganun, okay? If you guys are new to my channel, please do not forget to click that like, that subscribe, click that bell, set that to all. That way you will always be notified with announcements, updates, anything and everything NFTs. Check out my channel, guys. There's a ton of games that uh, we featured already. This will not be, de definitely, this will not be the last time I will create a content for Monster Infinite. Once magkaroon ng bago, upload agad natin yan. Okay? So that's it for me for now. I will see you on the next. I'm out. Peace!